Welcome to Gary Keep It Simple. Nice, quick, simple tip today. How to stop this sort of thing happening. This is the nightmare everybody dreams of with cassettes. And this is how you prevent it. As you can see, this is my cassette deck. And I'm going to just show you how, what, one of the things you have to be very proficient at. In there is the tape path. Now what you have to do is keep that clean. You can see the stereo head in the middle, the silver one. To the left is the erase head. And to the right is the capstan and pinch rubber. Those all have to be kept clean. On this one, you can see they are relatively clean, but I'm going to clean it anyway. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the isopropyl alcohol. Now I've put it into a little bottle because I don't want to have the big bottle, which I've got somewhere for a litre bottle of it. And I don't want to be using that and I don't want to be doing it. What a lot of people do is they have a cap or something like that and they, they do dribble it into the cap then they get their Q-tip or cotton bud and they dip, dip, dip in the cap. This, to me, it's okay. If it works for you, if it floats your boat, but not very good. Because after you've done the first wipe, if you've got particularly dirty heads, you're then double dipping, you're making the, the isopropyl dirty, and you're then spreading it out. So instead of having clean heads, you're getting heads with a very microscopic film. Enter the... Cretion 2000 bowl. Other bottles are available. Now, with this thing, what you can do, I get some more light on it. Right, with this thing, it's quite simple. It's got a very small hole in the end. In there. So, what you can do is, having got my wet cotton bud, Q tip, whatever you want to call it, I can now look down here and it's quite simple. Just squeeze you across, just make sure it's clean, and same with the other one. Just do it on the head, it doesn't matter if you go side to side or up and down, just got to make sure you wipe it. What you do want to tr try and pay attention to is, I don't know if you can see it on here, there's a little groove and a guide there, you want to make sure that that's clean properly. And on the other side, now I'm going to turn the power on on this, and we'll see what happens. Comes up to be 1200. It's now in standby mode. Now, because this is a modern deck, nothing is spinning. Just make sure, yeah, nothing is spinning, so it's not actually trying to do anything. Which means you can happily clean the clean the pinch roller, and you see I'll get that just nicely back. And you can see where you've wiped it. There is a certain skill to it. You can remove the doors on a lot of decks, but uh, yeah, it's not really necessary in this one. And clean the capstan now. On a lot of decks, the capstan would actually be rotating and would be quite easy to clean. But you have to be careful because the Q-tips, cotton buds, have a habit of shedding and they can wrap around the capstan and can cause damage. Because they, they wrap around, like when you get hairs in the, hairs at the nozzle of your vacuum cleaner. Anyway, there we go. So that's a nice clean, as you can see. And that should stop your machine having problems. I hope you found that of interest. If I could ask you to subscribe, like, comment, all those sort of good things. And I'll catch you next time.